Alright, Air Mark 203, sorry about that. If the Sierra Uniform Bravo Alpha Lima, it's direct to November, India, Sierra Bravo Alpha. Uniform Hotel 500. Charlie Alpha, uh, sorry, Charlie Bravo Alpha. Direct destination. On the departure, maintain 5,000. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic Micro City. As you saw from the title, we now have a new military base in here. Uh, we've got a lot of things to show you guys. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work. Got the left side section where the base is. It is almost completely done. Uh, you can almost see some of the new things from here, like the big blue IKEA building that pops out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that we need to go over. Now, uh, we're going to be having uh, two Micro City episodes pretty close together because I've still got a lot of stuff uh, to build and I've got a lot of stuff on my lift that I'm going to start placing into the city. Uh, so if you don't see your item here today, it might be appearing very soon. And I have a bit of a challenge for you guys uh, coming up for the next couple of episodes because we're going to expand into a neighborhood. Uh, we're about to talk a little bit more about that. But anyways, if you're enjoying Micro City on the channel and want to see more of it, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's go over to the new section. Ah, downtown's looking beautiful today. Uh, we're going to take a left here. Now, if you remember last episode, which had the micro battleship and the start of the naval base, which it was probably about, I would say, a quarter ways done, uh, a lot of the area over here was not finished either. Now, I'm pretty happy to say that these blocks are now completely done. Uh, but first, we got to point this out. Check it out, folks. We now have railroad crossings. Mr. Croca came through, and he has created a crossing that works with the trains. So now there is no longer the limitation as far as the train tracks. Uh, we can cross it wherever we need to. So very nice work. Uh, these work actually really fantastic. Now, with the cars, you do have to carry a little bit of speed to get over these little cracks. But other than that, pretty cool. So I want to thank Mr. Croca for doing that for me. So yeah. Let's walk over here. We'll go over all these stores here in a second. We've got some new items over here. And then there is the, we'll just call that the general military base because it's got a little bit of everything. But one thing before that, this little road right here. Uh, this is kind of a challenge. If you haven't joined my Discord, it's down in the description. Uh, we do a lot of things where I'll set up a theme. Now, this isn't necessarily a contest. It might be made into one. But I'm looking for micro houses. Uh, we are going to start a neighborhood out here very soon. So you can either send that through the Discord or send it through my email that's in the description. But yeah, uh, let's head over to the new military base. All right, here we are. We are at the military base. Uh, this thing's about three times as big as it was last episode. And there's a lot more detail in it now. Now, you're going to notice it did say Navy base. Now it just says base. I'm going to let you guys decide the name of the base so I'm gonna flash it in the top right corner I took some of the suggestions from the last episode uh, so we'll reveal that uh, on the next episode so let's go ahead we're gonna hop the fence we've pretty much been over this area right through here uh, the only thing that's really changed I did had I did add a opening for the uh, for the vehicles here so if they want to drive in and out I uh, probably need to add one security gate there but other than that not bad so yeah, we've added a lot of detail here. Uh, this is about all that was built last episode. Uh, you had a couple buildings here. You had the docks for the ships, which by the way, the battleship, it's out at sea right now. It's gone. Uh, but we do have three new items here for this, and we're going to go over these here in a second. So yeah, we stopped about right here, but since then, we've added some new fuel tanks. We've got radar towers pretty much everywhere. I've added a brand new building here. We'll call this one of the HQs for the, uh, we'll call it for the Army Division. Uh, we did have the barracks already set up over in this area, and we had this little uh, mess hall slash probably where the showers and stuff are. Now, what we've added, this whole back section here is new. Completely new. And then this right section's new. This is the, uh, we'll call this the Army section over here, and we'll call this the Air Force section in the back. So let's go ahead and walk through this fence area here. Now this is the Air Force section. Uh, we had these sweet little micro fighter jets built by Lord Payne for the last episode, and they needed a nice little cozy house. So I've created some hangars. We've got two over here, 
And we've got a big hangar over here, just in case we get something big to put into the city. So you've got that. Uh, you've got a radar tower here, or a, I guess you can call it an air traffic control tower. I guess it, they're still called that, technically, in the uh, even in the Air Force. You've got that. you got a little HQ for the Air Force over here. And we have two long runways here. So you could take the micro jet off from the Air Force base, fly around the city, maybe run some uh, training exercises. Forbid we'd have to actually use those jets in the city. You never know if the farm bots are going to attack or maybe a UFO is going to come by. We'll have to see about that. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much purpose built for them. Now as far as uh, what's going to be on the other side of this, I'm not really sure yet. I know we want to keep some distance from like the neighborhood that's coming in and everything else uh, from the military base. So it'll probably be some grass areas back around here. But uh, pretty satisfied with the way this came out with the uh, two runways here. I was going to put one like sideways, kind of like we have at the airport, but I went against it because it, the military base is already taking up quite a bit of space and I, I didn't really, I couldn't really think of a good way to do that. So we just have the two aiming up and down here. So yeah, let's move over here to the, uh, the army section. All right, here we are. We're in the army section of the base. Now the army section's a little bit small. Uh, like I said, this is a micro city, so I've tried to I try to downscale certain things. So we did. I would say this probably isn't a full size base, but I think it's a decent size. So yeah, you walk through here. Here's your two guard towers in the army section. Now the army section's a, a little bit of a mixture. Uh, we do have like an armor division over here, and then we have your general troop areas over here. Now keep in mind. Uh, the barracks are back here, so that's where they actually sleep, but they come over here. Uh, you've got their own little, probably like an HQ building for them. Uh, you have their training yards, which this was actually really fun to build because of the little uh, parts. I believe a lot of these are Lord Payne parts. Uh, so we made some like training exercises where they go up and down these areas. Maybe there's the rope wall right there. Uh, maybe the, like the barbed wire where you can crawl under it there. And over here we have a little track so they can uh, run some laps, get that cardio in. So this looks, uh, this actually looks really neat. I like walking around this for some reason. That's really satisfying to look at. Uh, I like micro city things that have a lot of detail. So yeah, that's that. Uh, over here we've got like a little armory storage area. Uh, we've got a couple of little hangers for the armor here. We got the tanks. I just recently got this big behemoth of a tank. Uh, this doesn't fit in the... It doesn't fit in the hangers yet. I'll need to build one more that can fit this big one. So you got that, and we have uh, different things. Maybe this is a little shooting range in here, like an indoor one. I was going to build an outdoor one, but it felt kind of weird being this close to the city, having an outdoor range. So I went with the indoor one. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, this we still aren't that far away from the city. So yeah, uh, we got a couple tanks here. Uh, you guys at the Discord were actually really awesome about building stuff, so let's uh, look at the lift here. All right, so we have a tank here by Joe Train Gamer. This is a micro military tank. Uh, it's actually quite big. It's a, I'm going to call it a behemoth tank, or at least a behemoth micro city tank, or whatever you want to call it. And we also have this M4 Sherman. This is by Mr. Papercat. So he says that Komodo wanted the tank and he got one. Well, he's exactly right. So uh, both these tanks, I believe, are tank steering. Uh, let's take them out to the airfield. We'll have a little bit more area to drive them around there. So let's grab that one. And let's grab you over here. So yeah, the M4 is actually, a, I would say, a pretty nice size here, tank-wise. Not too big. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out the lift. Uh, check these out. Oh, not the lift, the uh, connection tool. Let's pull these out. Check this out. Look at the amount of bearings in these. That's actually scary that you can fit that many bearings in a small spot. So let's go ahead and hop into here. Uh, like I said, tank steering, so the one key is going to turn it one way, the other, the two key turns it the other way. But if you use the combination together, you move forward. So yeah, tank steering, it's got a little gun on it here, that looks pretty cool. And this one's uh, turret moves, so we can't adjust that. So say if we're going to, for some reason, be firing upon the, uh, the micro military base, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, we can do that. Uh, there is the, uh, I believe the three and four key are your reverse. So you can reverse those together. Uh, very cool. I love the amount of detail you guys can get into some of these micro creations and the amount of like functionality uh, because getting tank steering and all that fit into here, I know is not easy at all. Oh, I could drive this thing for days. This is so fun to drive. 
You know, I kind of maybe, I would say let's build like a tank. Maybe we could build a tank obstacle course. Maybe something where it wouldn't necessarily be using its gun this close to the city. But maybe like a little obstacle course. Maybe that's uh we could have like a part three to this military base. But yeah, I want to thank Mr. Paper Cat for the M4. Uh, Paper Cat has been creating a lot for the Micro City. Uh, he'll be really surprised here coming up soon. I've got an idea for some of his cars. Uh, that should be maybe next episode. Can't make no guarantees. So yeah, this is a Joe Chain Gamers tank. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't think he says it's not modeled after a particular tank, but this thing is a monster in Micro City size. I would be absolutely afraid of this thing if I saw it coming at me. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, looks like the seat's right there. Oh, uh, why can't get, why can't I get into you, seat? Um, oh, I bet you have to look into here. There we go. All right, so he says one starts it up. Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. Uh, what, what do we got going on here? Oh, there we go. Oh, that works, whoa, that works a lot different than I thought it would. All right, this uses a, a little bit of a different WASD uh, steering. I believe there's like a converter in there. That is neat, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get both of these going at the same time. Come on, come on. I'm working on it, working on it, folks. Nope, okay, so the turret turns, so that's gonna be, oh! That's a mighty shot there, okay, so. So you make the turret turn. Let's go ahead and turn it back. Let me get a hold of the steering real quick. Oh, uh-oh. All right, this one, uh, this is actually quite sophisticated in here, and Komodo and sophisticated don't always go together. Uh, this works not by just WASD. You actually have to turn it on, and uh, once you get it going, you hold the uh, W key. There it goes. That's actually cool. So yeah, the other one was using a combination of the number keys. Uh, this one's actually using WASD, but you have to use the one key to actually start it up and get it moving. Uh, that's actually quite genius. It's actually really satisfying to drive too. Pretty easy. You know, since this thing is so big, I feel like we can actually run something over with this. Uh, let's try running over the helipad and see if we can hop the fence over there uh, with this creation. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah! Uh, uh oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Hold on! Up! Oh. Up! Oh, we're on our side. Oh, well there's a look at the bottom. Oh, actually he's using, I believe those are engine parts down there. Those are cool looking. Uh, once again, a part of the Durf Lord Pain mod, uh, which is basically all I use in the city, except for the uh, the scrap letters and the Komodo wheel covers, which I believe uh, Mr. Joe Train Gamer is the guy who made the wheel covers. Uh, same guy who made this awesome little tank here. So yeah, I want to thank him for making this tank. Very awesome. But that's pretty much it for the Army section, the Air Force section. Uh, we do have a couple things as far as ships to check out here. And I must say, you guys are rather impressive with what you sent in the short time period that you sent it. So, let's go over to the docks and check this stuff out. Okay, so here we are. We are at the docks. Now, like I said, the battleship from the last episode, if you missed that, that'll be in the description. But uh, that one's out at sea because I really need... I needed the, the space here, to be honest with you guys. I didn't realize I was going to get sent so many ships. And I still have a couple ships that I haven't been able to check out yet. Uh, we'll have to spawn more uh, next episode. But yeah, we've got the Arizona over here. Unfortunately, was lost in Pearl Harbor. You've got that. You've got a micro sub over here. And over here, you guys wanted to see a big aircraft carrier. And we have one. Uh, now, do keep in mind, the Micro City vehicles are a different scale. I have to pretty much say this every episode because I still have people comment like, well, hey, this doesn't look like it matches. Micro City vehicles are a different scale than the buildings. It's just the way it has to be because could you imagine how big this aircraft carrier would be to be to scale with the buildings? It would be pretty massive and to fit those micro uh, jets on top of it. That would be insane. So yeah, let's get the lift out and we'll check out the creators here of these three lovely creations. Okay, so your creators here, we have the, uh, Asa I think I said this right last, or I could have said it wrong last episode, Asada Shino. Uh, he actually created the aircraft carrier and this micro sub, and then the Arizona was made by Bastu, Bastu Gubber? <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand what that is. 
Uh, this is the Arizona. Unfortunately, like I said, was uh, sunk on December 7th, 1941. Uh, but yeah, this thing looks actually really awesome. So yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead. Uh, you'll see a couple more of these on my lift here. We'll go over these in the next episode. We have a uh, Yamada here. Uh, let's go out of here. But yeah, uh, very cool the uh, detail you guys have been adding to these. Uh, I didn't expect to do this in the Micro City, so a lot of this is still kind of weird to me, seeing this big mighty dock over here with the, uh, the battleships. But I I've been loving the feedback you guys have been giving me for these episodes to create stuff like this. Uh, that's why I think the future Micro City episodes are going to have your normal buildings, and then you'll have a little bit more of a unique, outrageous building. Alright, so we are ready to take the aircraft carrier out here. I can see the seat down in there. Check this out. Oh, here we go. Uh, this one does use wheels, uh, like the last battleship. It's always better if you have something this big, you don't have to make it hover. It's not a requirement, uh, but this is just neat being able to drive this around with the invisible actually he's using the glass parts there now one thing you're gonna notice the little animated smoke here that is awesome at first that just tripped me out I was like how in the heck did they do that I believe it's a a mixture of logic and derps invisible blocks I believe they're flashing on and off so it's creating that uh it looks like smoke puffing out but realistically that's one solid piece so uh definitely really creative the way you guys have used that now, as far as the uh, the features on this, let's go ahead and hit the one key. Okay, so we can turn the guns. Assuming all these are the guns that go out to the side, probably uh, probably AA guns. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the five key. Oh, it's got a little elevator for the uh, the micro aircraft in there. That's cool. And then, oh, <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. The uh, the six key actually launches one of them, so you have it take off and shoot up. Ah, that's amazing. So you got that. 7 key, I'm not really seeing something or anything for the 7 key. Uh, it's doing something here, if I can figure out what that was. But yeah, a lot of detail here. I'm really, really in love with this creation. I kind of want to just leave this right out here. That way you can see it in the background of the city. Actually, it looks like it's attacking the city, but <laughs> uh, that's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? I believe the, uh, the other key dropped the anchors up here. Yeah, you can see them down piston-wise now. Ah, uh, it's awesome. I love that smoke too, that uh, that animated smoke. That is ridiculous. So the first time I saw that was actually during the Christmas parade. Uh, one of the floats had that. So yeah, I want to thank him for sending this over. Let's go check out his other creation. We're going to pull it up right beside this, and we'll have like a little micro fleet out here. All right, so we have a micro sub. Of course, there is not enough of a water, like the water line's only like two or three blocks off the ground. I kind of regret doing that. I really kind of wish I would have built this city up probably about three or four blocks, uh, maybe even more, because I would like to have had a subway system in here. But uh, this is pretty awesome. Micro sub. Let's go ahead and hop into it here. Let's click some buttons so we can turn the turrets, uh, turn them back. Oh, there's the firing of the turrets. And oh, what the heck is that doing? Is that the torpedo? Oh, that should be the that's the torpedo base. OK. Cool. Oh, this one actually uses uh, thrusters. Okay. It's like it's pinning it down. Let's go ahead. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, I see why. It's so compact in there. It looks like he couldn't put full steering. So he's got the uh, thruster assisted turning here. Still not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, this is cool looking. So you got our little micro sub. We're going to go over by the aircraft carrier over here and kind of just park beside it. Yeah, by the time this is all said and done, I'm going to have a big, we'll call it a big micro fleet, if that makes any sense. Because uh, like I said, there's still stuff I haven't gotten to check out yet. Plus, we have the battleship too, so I think we'll take like a group photo once this is all done. I think it will look pretty epic, so let's go ahead and pull this up beside here. There we go. Looking awesome. So yeah, we got one more that we're going to pull up out here, and that's going to be the Arizona. So let's go check that out. All right, so here's the Arizona. This looks really good. I love the old World War II battleships. Actually, this thing could have been around. I think it was, I don't know what year this thing was built. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that old when it was sunk in Pearl Harbor. Uh, but this looks awesome. I love the style of these. Uh, if, I strongly suggest you ever have a chance to go like on one of the old World War II or actually pretty much any battleship that you can take tours on 
strongly suggest doing that. Uh, we get to do it occasionally with the uh, the USS Texas, which is pretty amazing to be aboard. Uh, let me see how we get into here. I believe it's through here. There it is. So I'm assuming this pretty much works like the other ones. It's on, yep, on wheels down there. Oh, the uh, the turrets turn with the steering wheel. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead. Ah, it's got a horn on it. Cool. Now, the turrets don't look like they fire. At least I don't think they do. No, there's no other buttons here. But still, this thing, amazing. I love it. I like the colors, too. Uh, I believe this was actually pretty correct. I'm pretty sure the uh, the paint jobs were changed up. Uh, this is maybe what it looked like. I don't know if this was like uh, the way it was built and paint painted, or maybe it was painted later on down the line. I don't know if I've ever seen a colored photo of this ship, so... Uh, but this, I like the paint job on this a lot. I know the Texas is morely just gray, uh, but it could have changed over time, of course. Ah, really, really awesome looking. I can admire this. I'm going to leave all these out here. Really need to spawn the battleship in, too. That way, when we're walking around the city, we can just look out into the sea and see our little Navy fleet. So, yeah. Definitely want to thank you guys for all the support as far as the military base, all the creations that were sent over. Hopefully you enjoyed that. We'll probably add a little bit more to it, plus the new boats that we're going to check out. But I think it's time to travel back to the city and go over the couple creations that I've added in the uh, lower density commercial district. Alright, so we're going to start off here with the big IKEA store. This is by Mining Cooper and Budzik1979. Now this is, uh, is kind of pushing it a little bit as far as the scale. I would say it's just a tiny bit big, but if you've seen one of these big mega IKEA stores, you know that they're huge. So this thing, it kind of dwarfs the uh, the Walmart that we placed a couple of episodes ago. But what is really cool about this, and I didn't realize this until after I had placed it in, and it's the whole fact that you can walk into this thing. So, up, oh, does the door not work now? What did I, did I jam the door? I don't know. Come on, door. <laughs> Don't embarrass me like this. Oh, let's start it back up. There we go. Oh, it's like it's jammed or something. It actually looks like it's jammed over here. Could have been after I welded it because it was working earlier. Let's go ahead and see if we can loosen it up. Yep, that's what it was. It was jammed against the block. So yeah, it's a little rotating door. We can actually walk in here. We've got a crouch to get in. And we have a full-blown IKEA store in here. Like I said, scaling wise, a little big, but I'm gonna accept it. The whole fact of this looks fantastic, especially on the outside, just seeing this monster IKEA store. But I'm gonna admit, I've never been inside a IKEA store, so I don't know how accurate this is. But it actually looks like it has like a food counter over here, and like little places to set. Uh, you've got the aisles, all the big stuff up here. You got the little checkout counters over here. Looks like some stores. Actually, this is probably the. Uh, Little setups where you can see like the here's the bathroom setup, bedroom setup, and like the kitchen setup so you can buy all the furniture. Which the one thing that bugs me about IKEA furniture is I know you have to put together most of the furniture. I'm not a very patient person when it comes to doing that. So that's not for me. But uh definitely really awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the uh, door here. There we go. A lot of detail on the outside, plus what's really cool about this building here, if you go around back. It actually has the uh, the loading area, so you do have a couple IKEA trucks. So if you're a person that likes to go in here and play around with the micro city, say you role play or whatever the heck you do with this city, I know some people have, I've heard of some people role playing in this. Uh, you can come out here. You got a couple little trucks you can hop into here and drive them around. Let's go ahead and hop into one here. Ah, trucks looks awesome. Uh, these look really awesome. Watch, uh, yeah, turns fully. It's actually kind of hard to achieve. Uh, I built one of the diesel trucks for the city, and that little trailer, sometimes it does that. It gets kind of stuck, so you have to kind of maneuver it and try to unstick it. But yeah, uh, definitely really awesome creation. A lot of detail. That's one of the reasons I, I put this in here, because this thing looks just absolutely fantastic looking. So we have our first, we'll call this a mega store. Like I said, it does dwarf the Walmart. Even though that's not a Walmart like you think, that's a Walmart. So yeah, definitely thanks to them for the IKEA store here. Uh, this block has been completed over around here. We do have another new building. It's another small little one. Uh, Komodo America, crushing hopes and dreams. Once again, we have another Komodo America building. This is Komodo America Shipping, and this is by 
Mr. Studio Bro. Studio Bro has created this. Uh, Studio Bro has created quite a bit in this little district down here. So it's got another big truck here. I uh, got one of the garage doors open. You can see we're shipping goods probably all over the city. Maybe we're shipping right next door to the Ikea. Maybe we carry some of their stuff over there. I'm not sure. Uh, really cool though. Uh, one thing I did notice was this little bitty forklift over here. And I'm kind of curious. Can we, uh, can we drive this? Or does it move? Oh, it does drive. What the heck? That is probably the... Oh, that might actually fall in that crack. <laughs> this is probably the smallest vehicle ever in the micro city. Look at that. That's actually quite amazing. So yeah, we actually have a little forklift. So we can lift up the goods and take them inside the shipping warehouse. And we can do some trucking and truck around with it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Another thing that we've added over here is a community pool. This is by Adam. Uh, quite a bit of detail in here. You can kind of see inside of it. I figured this would fit kind of close to where the neighborhood's going to be. Kind of makes sense to me. Uh, you actually have like a little community pool. You got some nice umbrella areas back here. You got the pool area down there. The lifeguard post over here. Really detail. You've got the men's and women's, uh, I guess, change locker rooms. So you got those back there. Now you notice that I've built in uh, grass areas all between here. I've built everything from alleyways. Just trying to connect everything together and make it look a little bit more natural because a lot of the, the things that you guys send me are just the lots itself. So I have to go in here, build the streets around it and build the connecting areas, add some trees and decorate it. So you've got that over here. We have a new hardware store, which I think this is new. We might have shown this off last episode. This is by Exodus, I believe I'm saying that right. He's actually created this uh, hardware store and he has another building here. He actually has the Dollar General that's next door. Hardware store, you can, I know you can't really see into it. Uh, he's got those uh, like older style glass on it. I believe this one might've actually had a truck with it. I think all of his had trucks with it. Like this Dollar General over here has a truck with it. So we have a lot of like box trucks, a lot of shipping trucks. Uh, so yeah, he built this over here too. I thought it'd be appropriate to stick these right next door to each other. Uh, you've got a Dollar General. Uh, you can see inside, this one's actually got a lot of detail on the inside. You got the little counter over there, all the shelves and stuff on the inside. Plenty of parking, so I felt this would be uh, appropriate in this area. So I definitely want to thank him for sending over the hardware store and the Dollar General, which I'm really, really in love with this Dollar General. It just looks so fantastic. Like it it looks pretty spot on with what most of those stores look like. So definitely want to thank him for sending these two things over. But anyways, uh, that's about it for this side here. The only other thing that I've changed, I've actually added some parking garages around the city. Uh, we've got one right here in this little uh, low density commercial area. And you can see over on the other side, which I've almost completed this area now, uh, there's a, another one right here for the skyscrapers. And that kind of runs all the way down. I've I actually completed the street back here. Uh, we got some other stuff we'll go over next episode. I've got, like I said, the theme next episode. I got a little bit of a unique theme. And then we'll have the neighborhood also starting uh, for the next episode. And we'll probably check out some more uh, ships. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Micro City. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, like I said, if you want to send anything over, you can always go through the Discord, which is down in the description. Or you can send it by email. However, you would like to do that. I'm always looking for new creative things for the micro city. So yeah, hope to continue this for a while longer. Uh, it's still running pretty good on my computer here. So uh, everything feels right about this. <laughs> Hopefully it continues. I was getting a little afraid that this thing was going to lag out. I'm still amazed that we've put as much stuff as we put in here. Uh, because this wouldn't have been possible in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, probably about half a year to a year ago. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in the Micro City. Thank you.